up to here. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it. Now all together a cheer. And once again, good evening, good morning, whatever time you're watching this in. This is Mark McDermott, uh, the guy who blogs about Chicago beer at beeronut.com and doing another one of my series of one-take beer reviews. I have done, this is my third one that I've done in three nights. Uh, it's kind of a new record for me. First off, I'm getting a little better with the uh, video editing. And second, I've just had a lot of uh, events and beers to go talk about. And this is something that has been on my mind is that um, I've been a little leery of advocating that people go out and take action on things when I have not been able to financially support that kind of thing. I mean, I give blood. That's just my time and some blood. I have marched in the Black Lives Matter uh, rally because it was right nearby and knocked on doors for candidates, but um, have not been able to do a lot of financial support for things, so I don't like uh, telling other people to do that. But uh, this is one where I have actually put my money where my mouth is, and I'll be putting this where my mouth is. This is the first of the releases that I have gotten hold of, of the Black is Beautiful project. It's a collaboration of over 989 breweries in all 50 states and 19 countries. This was spearheaded by Weathered Souls Brewing in San Antonio, Texas. I'm squinting at the label to make sure. Uh, yes, and the whole idea idea is that it is to support justice and equality for people of color. So each of the local brewers, they've passed around a, a recipe and they've been able to uh, adapt it as they wish for a dark imperial stout at 10%. So yeah, this is a perfect beer to be having on a hot summer night, but uh, it's starting to feel good because I was really, really busy today mowing the lawn, putting up shades, trying to fix the plumbing, that sort of thing. So anyway, this is the first of four that I have gotten hold of so far. It is brewed by Foreign Exchange Brewing, uh, which is in the western suburbs. They contract brewed this at Church Street Brewing in Itasca, Illinois. That's one of the people that they usually contract brew with. And this particular one, uh, first off, it is made with, uh, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here, Ugandan coffee uh, from from Indiro Coffee, a local coffee roaster there, Ga Ghanaian and Mexican cocoa nibs, and Saigon cinnamon. So uh, that's a pretty interesting combination. And this particular brewing is uh, set to, re to uh, support the Restore Aurora Fund. That's Aurora, Illinois, and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. So all the proceeds that they are making from this are going to uh, support various uh, charities, and the other brewers are doing other uh, local uh, beneficiaries. So anyway, uh, let's stop talking and let's pop this open. Well, that's a nice uh, dark pour with some uh, some brown in the uh, thin parts. A rather thin uh, tan to brown head that's uh, fizzing away as I'm speaking here. Yeah, I can't tilt this into the camera here. But a uh, big smell of coffee and uh, cocoa. Not quite a mocha note. Uh, and then the cinnamon kind of does come up. I mean, I kind of take my coffee with cinnamon in the morning, supposedly for uh, your blood sugar, but uh, who knows. But uh, it's a very nice uh, smell. Not overly roasty like some dark imperial stouts. Ah, there's some big cinnamon in the, in the, in the palate here. And the coffee is not as strong and on the palate as it is on the nose. Coffee and uh, cocoa are kind of sitting in the background of this. The main component that I'm picking up from this is cinnamon and a nice uh, dark imperial stout. Uh, again, not a lot of roasty malts to it, just a nice uh, dark, um, well, chocolate roast, I'm going to say for this. 
It's uh, pretty easy drinking, and that could be my downfall. Luckily, it's I'm going to take my shower and go to bed after this. Not very strong in alcohol. Uh, this would this is one of those that might change quite a bit if I have take my other three cans that I got from the four pack, maybe set it aside for a while. Certainly not going to drink these all in a day or two. So uh, this is a very good start uh, for this. I may come across some more examples of this as I go along, and I'm going to try to YouTube my tasting of each one of these. This is the uh, Black is Beautiful Collaboration Imperial Stout. It's made by Foreign Exchange Brewing at the Church Street Brewing Company. It's a nice start to this series, and pretty happy that I bought this one. So, uh, hope you're enjoying whatever you're enjoying. Yeah, I'm getting a little gas right toward the end of every one of these uh, podcasts. But anyway, this is Mark McDermott, your one-take beer reviewer, and the guy at Beeronaut.com saying cheers. Now don't be afraid of it. Drink till you're made of it. Now all together, a cheer. A bit of a coffee soda uh, comes up, though, towards the end.